Hello everybody, I am the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization V, the Earth 2014 mod as Canada. Yes, welcome back. So, last episode we saw a lot of wars start, actually. A lot with Argentina. And, uh, well, the big one is India and China. Which... There are nuclear weapons in play. But they haven't been launched yet. And they've been sitting in this city, or at least close by, for a couple turns. So, I don't know what they're waiting for, but we might see them launch this episode. Who knows? Okay, I also have these cities down here starting to fortify, build up. We're building some tanks and stuff like that in Toronto once we're done with the bomb shelters. Because I just realized that Russia has nuclear missiles down here. So I kind of quickly built all these fortifications, or will be building all these fortifications in these cities. So that, uh, you know, nuclear attacks are not as a threat to us. I mean, they're still a big threat, but not as much anymore. So, okay. Here we go. America still beefing up uh, its capital. I just realized nuclear weapons are such a huge threat right now. If we get, if we break out into a large war with one of the major powers, it's going to be devastating. It really will. We're gonna sit you right there. Okay, here we go. So we have five turns left on the resistance in Bellum, which is gonna take quite a while. And I think I might leave it a puppet state for a while. Uh, I don't actually... Well, no. I do need it to be a, a fully functional state. Or city, rather. Russia denounced America. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Great. Oh. Looks like America's... Well, America's being bombed, right? The Suborbital Jump Squad, or XCOM, is being bombed by uh, Commodore Rivadon... Riva... Davia. Riva Davia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. They better jump back out of here because this isn't going to work. You can't attack over a mountain, buddy. Come on. Oh, I love it. Everybody... I mean, the call for faith thing is kind of annoying because I don't think we're... We're not making enough to win that, but uh, I love how they're all starting to get missions now. So we're going to start gaining relations over time, hopefully, with a bunch of randoms here and there. It's going to be perfect. Okay. Yep. Just sit tight. Uh, no. Sorry. You can go into the city, and you can go over here. I want to build back that railroad as soon as possible, because I forgot about that last time. Uh, what I'll do... Uh, let's see. I know tourism doesn't matter, really, but it's still good to be up there. Because you get better trade relations if you are influential in a country. Let's see, where are we? We are... Canada, right, 24. Um... We'll keep making these these uh, great works. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Oh man, we have the didgeridoos, which are uh, native to Australia. At least you hear didgeridoos when you think of Australia. I do. Um, I don't know if they originated there or Africa or wherever, but... Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Okay, sit tight. Thank you very much. You are working on just tons of things. Tons and tons of things. Oh, my. I need, like, a full entire workforce of workers right now. So after that, just build, like, th three of them, maybe? Four, even? Because we can send them down to South America, and they can start working the crap out of all this, uh, you know, all this jungle. So that's going to be worthwhile eventually anyway, because we're going to have all of Brazil. So, I mean, I know a lot of this has worked, but at the same time, it's, I don't know, we might need it. Right, so you're going to Jakarta, I believe. Let's just double check. Sometimes it screws up. Yep, Jakarta it is. 29, uh, uh, wow, 29 gold just from this trade route. We'll go highest gold, Jakarta. Uh, we will be taking in some Islam. But we'll also be producing... I, see, I don't care about religion in this game because I'm not the holy city for anything. And I'm not making it a lot to begin with. So, whatever my cities want to switch to, they can switch to. It's fine. I, I really... I don't care. Um, the only thing that's going to be helpful is the cathedrals, right? Because they are... They give you one happiness, one culture, one faith, and one work of art or artifact uh, slot. So it's not really... It, plus, I need a thousand faith to do this, and I'm not making enough to really have that matter. So I don't care about religion in this game. It's not going to be any big deal to me. The only thing that sucks is that everybody's calling for faith, like I said, so... Oh, well. What are you going to do? 
Okay, so we have the world's... Or... The, whatever, the, uh... Voting, essentially. Let's go ahead and just put all our points in here. We have 22 delegates saying nay, and 69 delegates saying yes. Plus our 18, we're gonna be golden. And of course, the World's Fair will be voted on. It will happen. I'm not gonna... Should I care? Think of it this way. I'll only care up to the free social policy. Then I'm, I don't care. Because I don't want to spend time working on this. I need to work on my cities. So I will put the time into it uh, for the social policy. But that's about it. We'll work on the other ones if we can. Like the International uh, Games. The International Space Station. If it gets that far, you know. Who knows? We'll see what happens down the road. Okay. Uh, four turns for Bellum and... One turn left for Salta. Well, that's that's going to be golden. We want to build airports and stuff as soon as freaking possible. Yep, just sit tight. In fact, I didn't even look. I don't think you have an airport, do you? No. 50 turns, and that's going to cost us... About 1,200 gold. It's not it's not that big deal, because we have a lot of money coming in each, you know, each turn, so... That'll be alright. And you do not... No. You don't even have a factory here, but you have a workshop. That's a step in the right direction, I suppose. Ugh. Oh, that's, of course, right. I forgot. You're working on gold focus, aren't you? Wow, you're making more... What the hell was that? Just do that. Wow, that's perfect. Because you're still going to get that citizen in one turn. And you're making so much more production now. Yeah, 24 turns for the... Wow, okay. That... Keep up the good work. <laughs> I suppose. That's... Wow. That changed quite a bit. Okay. Looks like Impal has been attacked. We don't know if it's a nuclear bomb. Nope. Hasn't been yet, unless they have more in uh, Central China. I don't know. I have no idea. You want some sugar? You want a little sugar sugar? Uh, no. Sorry. I refuse, because that's my only source of sugar, right? I believe so. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll give it to you if I have an extra one. But I don't know if I have an extra one or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends with the United Kingdom. That's fine. Alright, what's happening here? Anything? No, nothing. Alright. Uh, India made peace with the Philippines. Sugar! Oh, we do have an extra source of sugar. Alright, well, I will help out the United Kingdom then. Sorry. In fact, I'll see if tr the United Kingdom can trade for anything. Uh, if they are, are they doing bad? Oh, one thing we haven't checked in a, a long time, actually, maybe even total, is uh, demographics. So we'll check that after the end of the turn. Sugar, no, sorry, not yet. Let me figure out who's gonna offer me the best things. I mean, I don't need happiness right now. Uh, I could use more money, so we'll see about that. Oh wow, what happened here? Lots of wars happening. Okay, so it looks like. Brazil declared war on Japan. South Africa declared war on Iran. United Kingdom made peace with Argentina. South Africa made peace with India. Oh my god, what is happening here? Okay, so a lot of nations declared war on Japan, essentially. Wow. That is insane. What the hell did Japan do? I don't understand. Don't worry, buddy. We have your back, I, I suppose. In fact, do we have a defensive pact? World leader! I'm gonna... Vote, vote me. Vote me. What do you want for that? I can give you the... the... Oh, no. Hmm. I can give you money. How much monies do you want? 20. No, I'm not giving you that. I'll put up 600. Right? Does that work for anything? That? Wow, really? Okay, yeah, do it. I will become leader of the world. Okay, perfect. Not that I need to be, but... Because I already am, actually. I just realized I don't actually lose this slot, do I? No. So maybe that investment was kind of stupid, but whatever. I want to be golden. <laughs> Alright, lots of wars starting, like I said, over Japan. And... Yeah. Okay. So, World Ideology Freedom passed. Absolutely wonderful. And, of course, the World's Fair passed. Moscow is plotting against... Um, that would be... Saudi Arabia. Yep. Good. Keep it up. As long as you're attacking somebody else, I do not care. Okay. 
So anyway, yeah, build that road back. I think it's right there that we pillaged. So we'll go there, do that. We'll go ahead and fix all of the other resources that we have. So this sugar, that aluminum, which is important. Uh, stuff like that. Oh, we have another antiquity site, too. Okay, we'll focus on that, too. Sit tight. You work on this. You finished that? Okay, great. Get over there. Let's look at demographics, what we can. So, we are first in approval. Ninth in literacy, by 4%. Uh, Twelfth in soldiers. Of course, America has the most. Second in land. Actually, that's, that's not really true for soldiers. I mean, technically, China should have first, but we're not going by real-world numbers. We're going by actual units and stuff like that. He has a gigantic force of freaking archaeologists. This is insane. I don't understand. Uh, right. Second in lands. Uh, fifth in GMP. Not bad. Sixth in manufactured goods. That could be improved. And crop yield is seventh. That's not good at all. Population size, 14. That doesn't really, truly matter all too much, but it would be nice to bring that back up. Alrighty. Well, let's see. So once you're done with that in Winnipeg, work on the World's Fair. I don't really need to work on much, you know, in certain cities here. So Ottawa, I want you to work on the World's Fair. And Quebec, same thing, World's Fair. We'll build the, uh, the other stuff after. I just want to make sure I get it to that, you know, 350 social policy and then I'm good. So, that'll be fine. Okay, UK. Hello. Let's see here. You want, uh... My sugar, huh? I'll trade you for it for seven gold. Looks good to you? Perfect. Let's do it. Yeah, just sit. Just sit. Nothing's gonna happen right now. We have three turns left on Bellum and we can actually go ahead and annex Sulta. Which I will do. Not that I can build anything yet, but, uh... Where is it? Courthouse. Thank you very much. Uh, you can actually work on this. I'm not going to purchase this because, well, first and foremost, I spend all my money on Japan, which I shouldn't have. But, at least I'm actually helping Japan in terms of money. He can now purchase units and stuff like that. So, actually, it does kind of help Japan, even though I don't really need the, uh, the votes. So. What is happening here? What happened? No! China! China declared war on Japan, which means bad things. But these guys just, uh, fortified, which- Oh, no! No! Tokyo! Oh, jeez! Oh, my God! Who was that? Russia? Or China. God damn it. I... I... Oh, what the hell? I mean, they are the only freedom uh, sieve in the area that's weak, but come on, guys. Come on. The only thing I could kind of say that they're safe on is being attacked again in Sapporo. Actually, no, not Sapp Well, maybe. Uh, well, anyway, Fukuoka. Because they can't be attacked here by Russia because they'll attack Chinese lands, and the Chinese won't attack their own lands, so... Wow! There's no radiation, though, which is kind of interesting. That really sucks. You'll pay for that in time. I guess my spy made it to a fallout shelter because, uh, he's still alive. Still alive and kicking. Maybe he made it to the top of Mount Fuji and just watched it happen? I don't know, but jeez. Yeah, so we have, let's see, Iran, uh, China, and uh, Russia declared war on Japan. A and Turkey. What the hell is going on? I don't understand this. Global politics. We'll look at, uh, yeah, you. Oh. Thank God I didn't get a defensive pact, right? That would have been bad. Really, really bad. Germany declared war on Italy. W okay. Interesting. Uh, that will actually be, you know, they'll actually be affected by Germany because that's, uh, it's perfectly in range, so. Another engineer, really? Okay, well, we'll send you over this way somewhere, right? Maybe not. Uh, yeah, go over there. Uh, who was it? Oh, it was just a regular great engineer. 
We've lost the names. No more names anymore. Okay, let's take a look. Trade route overview. We have... Halifax to Houston. So get over there. Toronto has adopted Protestantism. Alright, so yeah. There's no Catholicism left up here. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Alright, like I said, I don't care. It doesn't really matter to me. Washington is... Wait, what? Putting against Indonesia. I'll share. Share that intrigue. Yeah. Right, so... The UK is coming over here. They're at war... They're at war with Brazil, no? Whoops. Global politics. UK? Where are ya? No, they're not at war. But they might be at war, or going to go to war. They have Eurofighter Tycoons and two nuclear missiles coming over here. Interesting. I don't know what they're planning, but they better not be planning anything against me. We're freedom, and I have a defensive pact with America still, so don't try anything. But I do still have this, right? No, I don't. No! I thought we... I thought we did that. Okay, maybe I was wrong. We need... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We need somebody. Mexico. You like me. Thank you, Mexico. All right. And France. Great. Germany. Great. And the UK. No, we have a defensive pact with the UK. I'm sorry. So... I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. If if they attack, then they're going to be screwed by uh, Europe. So, I doubt they're going to attack me. They're probably coming down to Brazil. But, uh, just want to make sure. Like I said before, Civ is very, very unpredictable. Again? What the hell is going on here? Why would you nuke it again? You are nuking it. Yeah, you are. What the hell's going on? I don't understand. Oh... That- oh my god, the carrier just- wow! God damn it. They've been reduced to 5 population from- I don't know what it was before, but it, it went down to 13. That's just insane. It really- what is that now? What the hell is that? I don't know who that is. Oh, rebels. Just rebels. So they have, uh, unrest, probably. Interesting. Very, very interesting. The world is falling apart. It really, really is. Woo. You go up against those T-90s. Ooh, man. Okay, yeah, I'll double check that. If we go into culture overview, culture victory. Russia is in a revolutionary wave with negative 60 unrest. Minus 16 overall unhappiness. Holy sh... Crap. Everybody is in a revolutionary wave. That's not freedom. Wow. Well, except for these guys, but that's... Huh. Okay. Well, we're changing the world. Democracy for everybody. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, it looks like Tony Abbott wanted some, uh, some interesting things happening. So Australia declared war on Argentina as well. Crazy things are happening right now. I am just... <sighs> Man. And it looks like America's coming down here, too. I don't know anymore. I, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I've, I've given up just trying to think of what's going on. You know, because this is, this is insane. This is all for either Brazil or Argentina. I know that for sure. But the world is just falling apart. It's only... It's December of 2016. And the world is falling apart. We don't have a lot to look forward to this this year now. <laughs> oh, by the way, Happy New Year, everybody. Jeez. Just freaking jeez. Thailand declared war on uh, South Africa. All right, we have... Well, I don't know what that was. Great artist, something like that. Tony Abbott's doing a sneak attack, probably on... Uh, what was it? Argentina. And... Moscow, or Vladimir Putin is plotting against China. Absolutely wonderful. Do that, please. Okay, who do we have here? James Abbott McNeil Whistler. Well, go ahead and make your great work. Arrangement in gray and black. Portrait of the artist's mother. 
Awesome. So, what do we have here? 29% and we only have 174. We need 350 to make the free social policy, which will definitely happen soon. Uh, once Toronto's done... No. I have faith that we'll get up there. It's been... How many turns since we started that? Probably only like two or three, so... We're fine. We'll get 350. Right, so rebuild this road. Thank you very much. Halifax. Two. Where was this going to go? Halifax to New York now. It changed. See, that's why I always double check. All right, go to New York. New York! Something, something, something where dreams are made of and all that. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> Is this done? No. Six turns left. See, I, I keep thinking that I'm going through more and more turns, but in between, the turns take so long, uh, processing-wise. So I think I'm going faster, but I'm actually not. So, Anyway, uh, a lot of things happened this episode in terms of Japan. Poor freaking Japan getting nuked like crazy. Um, this world is falling apart. I just hope I'm on the winning side. Uh, I'm building <laughs> I'm building bomb shelters out the yin-yang here. And that's what we have to pray for, that the bomb shelters actually protect us. You know? I don't know. We'll figure this all out in due time. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.